We're here in Heartland Forest. This is our November 2017 Panther Workshop where we bring in wounded veterans along with civilians. And this is the first time we've ever had the honor of having a wounded female veteran. This is Natalie, and I'm going to ask you, Natalie, where are you from? What's your full name? My name is Natalie Houston, and I'm from Kentucky. Kentucky? Yes, sir. What part of Kentucky? Northern Kentucky, just south of Cincinnati. Farm girl? I am, yeah. We've got a small farm at home. A couple of chickens, no more roosters. Tell me, where did you serve? What was your military background? I served in the Army from uh, 2001 until 2015. And uh, I was an intelligence uh, officer, and I was also enlisted intelligence. You were an intelligent officer? <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> and your mother of? Two. I have two little girls, one uh, three and one almost two. Now, what I'd like you to do is... First of all, how did you find out about this? Um, I went online. I found a. Uh, on I was looking for hand tool videos, oh, really? and I found RobCosman.com, and uh, I logged on to the member lodge, and I got the uh, subscription for uh, all of the online videos. So I started watching those and trying to teach myself how to square boards from roughs on lumber, and uh, it was just randomly I saw I think on Facebook or YouTube. Uh, something about the Purple Heart Project, and then when I found out that you were accepting new um, applications, I decided to apply. And then you met Luther. And then I met Luther. And Luther's a pretty cool Mr. guy. Spreadsheet. <laughs> so you came here with some kind of expectation. Tell us what those expectations were, and now at Friday, five days into it, how were they fulfilled, or how did you change? Well, I really wanted to learn how to hand cut dovetails. I've been trying to do it with chisels. Uh, I'm trying to pare them down, and it hasn't worked for me. Um, but today, I, I cut my first dovetail, and uh, it looks pretty good. So I'm super happy about that. Um, I'm also very happy to have met other veterans. I really wanted to reconnect um, with uh, the brotherhood and sisterhood that I felt in the military. And I've been missing that for the past couple of years. And this kind of helped reconnect me with veterans and, and even the civilians. Uh, that had served. I mean, it just, we all kind of became a family over the week. It was good. That's good. Now, I need you to talk to other military veterans, wounded, disabled veterans, who this program would help. Speak directly to them. Okay. Tell them why they should be considering this. All right. Um, you know, whether you struggle with physical issues, um, whether you struggle with confidence uh, or anger, um, this, can, this can help. Uh, you know, all of us who have been in the military have been trained to attack each problem with brute force. Um, and you can't do that with woodworking. So for this, this experience has really taught me patience. And when I become frustrated and angry, uh, it's taught me to take a step back and center myself and, and calm down and uh, reassess how I'm going to try to figure out how to solve the problems. Um, for me, it's been very therapeutic. Um, also, I was hesitant to being the president of the other veterans, even though I was looking forward to meeting them. Um, but this has really been an eye-opening experience. Um, I learned that a lot of other veterans are in the same situation that I was in, uh, in terms of uh, feeling a little bit isolated. Um, and I also learned that there are people, complete strangers out there that care. And, uh, you know, you matter. So it, it was a great experience. It's been an absolute pleasure having you here. Thank you, Rob.